Hello and welcome to the Canvas Studio and welcome videos from the Center for Teaching and Learning. Today our learning objectives are to watch how to use Canvas Studio, identify welcome video best practices, practice using Canvas Studio to create your own welcome and course overview video. First of all, let's talk about why make a welcome video. We know that welcome videos promote student engagement right off the bat. It also promotes immediate instructor presence while explaining why the students are in the course and how that information is important to students and their learning. We also know that it creates an informal learning environment that is friendly and generally an icebreaker for students. What it also does is it allows the students to get a sense of who you are as the instructor. It, you can identify the goals of the course, review the course's navigation and layout, clarify some of the materials and activities students will engage in, and then outline communication expectations from the instructor, instructor to the student individually or as a group. Some of the positive impacts of welcome videos. Impact course, it, impactful course introductions have the potential to humanize your presence in a virtual learning environment, excite students about what they'll experience in your course, and also, and most importantly sometimes, is to dispel fears of uncertainty among the students new to online learning. What should be included in your welcome video? We don't want to overload our students with too much information. Short and concise is best. Try to make your videos no longer than three to four minutes. When is the last time you watched an instructional video that was longer than five minutes that held your attention? If you have more to say, then you record more videos. Make sure that your videos are short and engaging. Okay, remember that you want to motivate your students and not overload them with too much information. Show your personality. Include a small section about photo with photos or clips about your life. What do you do in your free time? Include your expectations for behavior and participation. Add notables, such as like if there's virtual class meetings. When are you available? List your availability and communication expectations. Let students know your expected response time for emails and posts when grades are available after a deadline. Include how students can locate your virtual office hours or physical office. Let them know that questions and concerns are welcomed. Also too, include how help is available. Direct students to available tech support listed in the course to show that you want everyone to be successful and provide a start here uh, guide. Show students exactly where and how to get started in your course. What does not belong in your welcome video? Some information is not necessary in a welcome video, but these would be notable points for you to tell your students to review in the welcome video. This, these specific details are better positioned in the syllabus or your Canvas course pages welcome module. Things like exact course times and meeting places, all the details of your contact information, college rules according to MCCCD policy handbook, plagiarism and etiquette guidelines, grading policies, textbooks, and then specific assignment lists and important due dates. All of this can be included on a page, but doesn't need to be discussed in a welcome video. Using Canvas Studio. In Canvas Studio, you can record the screen, you, or both the screen and you simultaneously. Studio integrates Screencast-O-Matic right into your Canvas course. You can move any window into the screen capture window to record information. Tips to creating a recording. When Studio does not offer, excuse me, Studio does offer closed captioning at this point, but it is not 100% precise. You will have to review your captions to edit for precise language. It is important to include a transcript for each video to meet the accessibility standards. Developing a script helps you to stay focused on the recording process and it helps you to edit your closed caption uh, text. We will be uh, having another video that will give an overview of how to use uh, Canvas Studio.